Hi, in this particular video we're going to be looking at cumulative frequency. This is about, I think it's about the fourth video in this particular playlist. Um, before we've been looking at box plots and now we're going to be looking at cumulative frequency. If you're not sure, please do follow the link below in the description. That'll take you through to my website and you'll be able to download and have a look at some questions. This particular question deals with speeds of a, a series of lorries. There's actually a hundred lorries. It looks a little bit complicated but it's presented a little bit better on the exam paper. So what we're saying is that the speed of uh, two lorries between zero and 20 kilometers per hour is that one there. So the cumulative frequency of the first group is just two. The second group is going to be the frequency, the cumulative frequency of between zero and 40. Well, that's going to be nine plus two is 11. And then the next group is between 0 and 60. So if you add all of those up again, you're going to get 34. OK, the next group again between 0 and 80 is going to be all of these four added up together. And that's going to give you 65. OK, so the next group is going to be 0 to 100 plus the 27s. So that's going to give you 92. Now if we're doing our sums correctly it means that because we're talking about a hundred lorries the cumulative frequency of all of those lorries should total a hundred and indeed it does. So you've got 92 plus 8 equals 100 so we know that we're on the right track with that particular one. Okay now the next part of the question so this will be worth about one or two marks to you. The next part of the question is to plot those onto a cumulative frequency graph. Uh, usually you're given a bit of graph paper to do this, so please bear with me. I'm gonna plot these marks. And what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna plot between um, 20, which is the speed, and the cumulative frequency of two. So I've got uh, 20, which is my speed there, and my cumulative frequency of two, so it's gonna be right at the bottom there. Okay, the next one is gonna be between 40 and 11, so 40, and 11, a little bit taller there. Uh, the next one is going to be 34 and 60. So I've got 60 and 34 is roughly about there. I hope you can see this okay on the video. It's not particularly easy to do from where I am at the moment, but we'll be all right. So 80 to 65, so 80 to 65. You can see the cumulative frequency is getting a little bit bigger now. And then 92 to 100, well there's 100 and 92 is up here somewhere. And what we're aiming for is a really nice smooth curve. So I've got 100 to 120, there's my 100 and um, there's my 100 and that's going to be up to 120 rather than that's going to be up to there. So we're looking for a nice smooth curve and if I join up these dots together you'll see that it creates something like that. Okay, a little bit wobbly and I'm sure you'll make a much better job of it on the exam paper. Now very typically they'll then finish this type of question off with a, uh, a one marker, a two marker, where they'll ask you to work something out from the cumulative frequency graph. So in this particular case speeds are greater than 90 kilometers per hour. Well there's 90 kilometers per hour so if I plot that along here. Now I don't know how accurate this is going to be but apparently according to the information I've got it's actually 81. So what it means is that 81 lorries go below the speed of 90 miles per hour or 90 kilometers per hour. So those that are greater than 90 miles per hour is 100 minus 81, so that's going to give me 19 lorries in total. So 19 lorries will go greater than um, 81, uh, the 90 kilometers per hour. Hope that's been okay for you. Please do add a comment below. Um, you can also subscribe to the site and I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.